headphones going too, because we can do oh, that yeah, yeah. So this is the behind the scenes in the studio uh, video for Dance of the Mystic Bliss. And uh, this features my band Chroma Nova. We started playing in New York City in 2018. And in 2020, I received a Canada Council grant to record the project. And uh, I spent most of the early part of that year in lockdown during the COVID-19 pandemic, writing the music for the recording session. Our engineer is Jake Owen and he communicated with the musicians. He set the studio up so that we had enough isolation. The strings and percussion were separate. I was also isolated and the guitar amp was isolated. So we had um, uh, about four days to track 10 pieces. And uh, you know we were able to record uh, two, three songs a day. That, that group comes in on A, right, Michael? That part comes in on A. The percussionists both uh, went at this with a really focused and, uh, and open-minded uh, approach. Uh, Rogerio brought a hybrid drum kit. It had a cone and some smaller um, toms that were, some of them were South American or African. Was changing all the time and, and you know he's using chimes and gongs and bells and uh, hand percussion and all kinds of beautiful sounds. They got together and, and uh, uh, really worked diligently on, on the grooves and they really knocked it out of the park. Morrow was also involved with a lot of hand percussion and he played beer and bow the Zabumba and uh, Marimba. He also played uh, a synth drum on a few tracks that uh, was really effective. <laughs> Guillermo Montero and I have been playing for a few years. Uh, right away he said to me that you know he didn't want to play acoustic guitar on this project. He wanted to play electric guitar. And uh, I think he made the right call because there's a certain um, contemporary tone to the album because he's playing uh, electric guitar. I knew Sky Steel would be perfect for this and uh, he recommended Chris Hoffman. Uh, and they had played together so they had a great uh, chemistry. And uh, Chris is a a uh, great cello feature on a tune called Le Cour du Jardin. Uh, Sky brought in the Rebecca, which is a traditional Brazilian fiddle. Uh, he's featured on that on, a, on both Sagra and World of Pearl. I've known Michael Bates for some time. Uh, he grew up in Canada as well, and uh, he came up in Vancouver uh, not long after me. Fantastic uh, composer and uh, bassist. This is all for Merle, you know, she just was a great person and a great mother. I like the idea that, uh, you know, when this is out into the world that uh, she's, she's going to be enjoying it. Should be great.